Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is JT. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to show you the protection I've been wearing for the past few months and uh, do a little review on it. So, a few months ago, I purchased these bad boys. They're by 661s. They're the Recon Advance. I'm sure you've heard about them. Um, if you guys are looking into protection, these guys are top of the line. The other day, I, I took another pretty big spill and uh, I got, got some bruises here on the upper thigh portion. And uh, these guys really saved my knees, they saved my legs, and it's pretty crazy to see like right where the protection ends and right where it starts, there's a pretty good purple bruise and well on my leg and then everything past that where the protection started, there's nothing. I don't, I don't have any scrapes on my knees or anything, but I, I'll, I'll try to show you guys on the camera. There's a pretty big bruise right here, so get a little close up this guy pretty big bruise but anyways we're gonna get the gear on and we'll get into it all right guys we're all geared up I do gotta admit these guys look pretty sweet here are the knee pads I kind of wanted to wear shorts today to have you see them so get a couple close-ups of everything and uh, we'll talk about them a little bit so cool thing about these guys is uh, you can get some more protection there's these little velcro straps they pull out here and here and uh, a hard shell you know plastic hard shell goes over this uh, D30 protection. There is a lot of protection here that is just extra padding. And my bruise is right about here. So, you know, here's where my bruise starts. And all of this, you know, protected me from getting an even bigger welt. And definitely my knees didn't get all messed up. So that was pretty nice. And it's kind of why I wanted to talk about these a bit. So first I'm going to go into what I don't like about them and then I'll give you everything that I do like about them. And uh, first off, the first thing I wish is I know they're trying to make these kind of uh, breathable, but you see how there's two separate kind of materials here and this one's kind of a little thicker. Uh, then there's this really lightweight mesh material on the back side it's not very uh durable and you can see the little holes from just me catching them on the pedals on these ones it got torn up even more so and uh that's the that's one of the downfalls of these is if you ride flats that back of the pedal, if it ever catches your calf or anything, you, these things are going to tear. And so eventually, I'm sure after a year or so, these holes might even get bigger, or I might even just be more precautious about where I'm placing my feet and my pedals. So if you if you ride clipped in, these, this will not be an issue, but uh, if you ride flats, this can be an issue. You might tear them up a little more than somebody wearing clips, but the next thing that I don't like about them, and there's only two, so it's not a long list, is uh, when I'm taking long runs, especially out at like Beacon or if I'm, I haven't been to the bike park with them yet, but I'm assuming when I'm at the bike park, the very rough terrain, all the bumps, jumps, drops, all that kind of stuff kind of works these things down and uh, eventually, they uh, start sliding down your legs. I don't have that much of a problem with the, the arm sleeves. They don't do that as much, but the knee pads, I'm, I'm constantly having to adjust them. And it, it can be kind of annoying because they're really hard uh, to adjust because they go so far up your thigh, you almost have to take off your shorts and yank them up. 
and uh you know that can be kind of embarrassing on the trail but you know whatever you got to do what you got to do so um that's basically the only two cons to these things but other than that um i ride 20 mile days with them you you forget about them like after five minutes of riding with them uh they're really comfortable they're really really robust and they they really do take the impact well um short in a in a bit i'm gonna go down the trail that i rode and i'll show you the jump that i that i crashed on it's about i'd say it's about eight feet distance and you probably get about another five or six feet off the ground uh, before landing and so it can be a pretty hard impact and these things took it very well as you can see my bruise from earlier uh, everything else that wasn't protected it didn't take it so well especially having my phone in my pocket that left a pretty good mark on my on my leg so other than that um, I got some riding to do so I'm gonna bring you guys along and I'll see you guys out on the trails all right guys so currently climbing this hill and I just want to touch on one really cool feature about these recons is uh, the D30 protection is actually rounded. It's the shape of your knee, so it's very conformed. But it also leaves like a contact pocket. So like in reality, your knee never really touches the D30 directly. And like my old knee pads, they were the Fox Enduro style. And they're a flat knee pad like the d30 protection is flat and so when you have them on the the protection it rides right on your knee and it can become very sweaty and this knee pad there's there's like a little air pocket it's probably about you know, half an inch or so so when you're climbing that knee pad never actually sits there and you know creates all that sweat and uh contacts the skin so it's another cool really, really cool feature about these is they are very breathable especially when you're climbing and uh just walking around so i'm gonna go show you guys this other trail i kind of skipped over it but i want to show you guys the the jump that i that i biffed it on and see the you can see the type of riding that I do and the, the protection these guys really give. All right guys, we are out on the trail today and uh, this is right where I, I biffed it. You land right back there and you come around this bend and you send this other wood to dirt. And uh, what happened was I was coming around this bend and I didn't necessarily have the speed that I wanted. So I gave it a couple pedals I think it was just a couple too many and uh, I really oversent this jump which is about 15 or so feet and I probably landed more at the you know 20 foot mark uh, somewhere at the end of this and it really bucked me off my bike and I ended up over here somewhere with my bike on top of me so I got about you know, 8 to 10 feet of height and it was a pretty pretty big impact there's probably a rock in there somewhere that gave me the big welt I have on my leg but it was really interesting to see the the welt on my leg it started right where the protection stopped so I just wanted to come out here and show you give you a little bit of perspective on how much protection uh, these these knee pads and elbow pads they really do provide so that's all I really got for you guys today if you like these kind of videos if you like this review let me know in the comments down below i'll be leaving the link for these pads these gloves these everything down below so you guys can access it easily like i said before i'm not sponsored i don't have an affiliate link i don't make money off of youtube i spend my own hard-earned money on on this equipment and uh everything i do purchase i try to review and i try to uh 
really research before I purchase it because you know we all work hard for our money and we don't want to just waste it away on equipment that's not going to work for us so um, I'll see you guys next time peace out <laughs>